Right, imagine this. For years I loved Super Mario Bros. 2. I had to sit in frustration over the constant dismissal of the game from people who were so keen to mention it wasn't a real Mario game. They'd bark obnoxiously about how they were robbed of the pretty lacklustre real Super Mario Bros. 2 and fobbed off with some weird platformer. I loved that weird platformer though, it was so weird. Everything was mad as fuck and the game just seemed more plain fun than the original Super Mario Bros. It was full of puzzles and challenging little speedy moments and fun secrets, but the truth is, I'd never managed to complete it. Because NES Super Mario Bros. 2 is a bit of a sloppy game. Now imagine how delighted I was when I discovered just how different Super Mario Advance was from the Super Mario All-Stars version. How its love of dishing out power-ups and providing sensible checkpoints made me feel. How these little balancing tweaks saved a beautiful, brilliant game. Can you imagine? I don't think you can. Nintendo have recently gained praise for just how brilliantly they can do remakes with the recent Zelda remakes, they've looked at each game's fundamental appeal, considered what could be improved and packaged it all together in a way that feels more like a natural result of the game's structure than the originals did. I think it could be argued that Super Mario Advance was pretty much the start of all that. And here's the thing, it's a fucking Super Mario Bros. 2 remake and that game's as daft as a bag of bricks. And that's what Nintendo realised people loved about it. I love little sprites and voice clips from Super Mario Advance more than I like most entire Mario games. They're bizarre, cute, funny and absolutely what this game needed. Birdo, Mouser, Triclide, they're all fleshed out just enough to complement their fantastic silly designs without ever coming close to taking away from what made them brilliant in the first place. Every addition complements the daft, obnoxious, potentially annoying nature of Super Mario Bros. 2 and makes it something to get obsessed about. This is game development of the highest calibre. And see how I love Peach? You know where that started? Super Mario Bros. 2. She's brilliant in it. So good that now I'm always excited when she's playable in a game. Get this. She's even better in Super Mario Advance. This is absolutely her game. The world, sound and character of Mario Advance all reflect Peach's best qualities. You know how characters were designed in Super Mario Bros. 1? They were all representations of how they functioned in the game. Mario had to be drawn in a way that made him easy to animate because of all the movement. Goombas are symmetrical to cut down on sprites. Peach is just a daft drawing of a princess. She's there because she's a fun idea. That's what so much of Mario 2 was and what Advance expands on. Just a load of daft stuff that doesn't really make sense, but makes the game so much more likeable. Mario Bros. 2 is a game full of smiley snakes, shy guys riding flamingos and space rockets you can pull out of the ground like turnips. Here mate, why do you love video games? Super Mario Advance is why I love video games. Super Mario Advance isn't a Super Mario World beater. It almost seemed like a joke to mention it in the same sentence as Galaxy, but I think that's kind of what makes me like it more. Mario games at their best are brilliant, clever, creative bits of design that prove how well games can be made and show whole new perspectives on their design. That's what I love about the big Mario games. But I don't just burst into a big grin thinking about them. Not like Super Mario Advance. I think this might be it. The one I like the most. I think this might be my personal, irrational, favourite Mario game. I don't expect you to understand. <laughs>